Alrighty, we are back in action. Alright, where are we going? What are we doing? What are we working on? We were literally just playing this yesterday. Let's see. Alright, we need to go... Okay. We have our ability to jump twice now. We have the space jump boots. Whatever you want to call them, however you want to look at it. Um, we defeated the jump guardian. And uh, we're slowly but surely, you know, gathering our abilities back so that we can uh, be at uh, maximum kickassery. If you want to... Ah, call it that. Um, let's see. I think we're supposed to go this way. I guess we'll figure it out. I think I'm supposed to go this way. Now that we have the double jump, we should be able to go... Um... I don't know how to explain it. I just had to show you guys. We'll have to uh, go up this way. Get these stupid bugs out of the way. There we go. There is a dog outside barking. He's been barking for going on four or five hours. I have no idea what the problem is. But since it's been so many hours of consecutive barking, I am starting to get concerned. By the time we detected the stellar object as it skewed toward our, yeah, skied, streaked toward our world, it was too late to stop it. We fired numerous weapons at it in vain, in a vain attempt to alter its trajectory. Nothing worked. Our efforts placed a great something on the controllers and weakened the ether. All we could do as the object grew closer was take... Stores of food and water reinforce the shielding on our dwellings and spend the last... Damn it. This is why you... Di this is why you play live. Well, not live as in Twitch, but... This is why you record the commentary while playing. Because sometimes you click too fast and you don't leave yourself enough time to read. But yeah, like I said in the last episode... That episode and this episode are having to be done this way because we ran into some problems. Those problems are solved, I hope. Hey. Pull an old James Bond move. You shoot the barrel instead of shooting the enemies. Take everybody out all at once. I think we're in for a fight. Yeah. Hey there, failures. Plans for the strike were recently stolen from our GF lab by the space pirates. Production began immediately. And the fast-moving skiff is now part of most pirate operations. It is used primarily as a troop transport, taking a fire team of troops into action. The sh Shrike is unarmed, relying on the troops it carries for protection. Shrike. Right, we've already scanned. These are just regular old everyday space pirates. Who I guess are some sort of um, praying mantis type creatures. Scythe. Scyther kind of crit critters. They're bugs. Either way. It's the Chozo or Burst, the Luminoth or Moths. Space Pirates are some sort of bug. Then you have the humans. <sighs> then, like, I think a Prime was supposed to originally be four or five games. They were going to make it a whole series, and uh, that just kind of never came to fruition, so... Is it fruition? Fruition? Fru fruition? 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 I think it's fruition. God, I'm dumb. Um, let me just scan this before we blow it up. 
The Vigilance class turret is found in many Space Pirate bases. Built to support the Humility class turret, it is as accurate as the gunner operating it. Many young Space Pirates begin their careers as sentries. A tour as a Vigilance gunner is considered a mark of distinction. That's neat. I love when they give lore and, and backstory to things. This is one of the reasons I really enjoyed Prime, um, or Prime Trilogy. <sighs> Excuse my mini yawns. Is the fact that so much was thought of, so much detail. They were so attentive to detail, and, and I could not be more thankful for that. There's so much to scan, so much to read, and I love it. Prime 2 had a lot to scan. I don't know, I'm not going to... Pussyfoot around. Prime 1 seemed to be, to me at least, it, it had a decent amount of scanning. Prime 2, you had to scan everything. I don't remember how bad Prime 3 was, because I think I've only ever played Prime 3 once. I want to play Prime 3 more than I wanted to play 2. 2 is kind of... 2 in every series is always kind of the one that rubs me the wrong way a little bit. Maybe not so much with Back to the Future. Part 3 was the one I didn't care for in that. Boop. But I try not to give it a hard time because um, I know that they wanted to do that so badly. It was like a dream of his to, to be able to do a Western. And he was able to do it <laughs> through time travel storytelling. And uh, time travel's tricky anyhow, so... Given what it was, I think he did. I think who was it? Robert Zemeckis, I think. Might that? Might do I have that right? He did a fantastic job, him and Spielberg. I think Spielberg worked on it. You know, that comes from a guy who's sick of hearing about Star Wars. Everything Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. You can't get away from it. It's gotten to the point where I downright despise and hate Star Wars now because I never particularly cared for it to begin with. I didn't grow up with it like everybody else did. It came on TV, but I never watched it because I found it boring. And um, now even as an adult, it, you know, quote-unquote nerd culture, it's all about Star Wars everywhere I go. You go into GameStop, it's all you see is Star Wars memorabilia. You can't find Metroid memorabilia anywhere. But you're going to find flipping Star Wars Security report. Oh, it's not a logbook. Command Unit 87 has failed to report. His unit was dispatched to recon the swamp, potential site for a new base. Unit 98 has been sent to investigate. There's a lot to scan in this room, too. Security analysis complete. Unable to bypass space pirate security. <coughs> Border control access denied. This portal is inactive. Dark ether transit, 424, radiation levels within tolerance is good. Dark canning operating at, f dark canning? Conan, cooldown cycle underway. Here we go. <sighs> Can't determine origin of ether's dark twin. Contains high levels of phazon ore. Native bioforms attack on site. Hmm, that's no good. Century report. I grow weary of standing watch on a wasteland. The accursed marines are weak and vulnerable. Why do we not attack? They owe us a fate debt for the attack on our supply ship. Instead of settling accounts, we sit around in this sand pit like a group of timid old spinsters. It is time for action! The order... To mass breed Metroids is insane. We have no space to store them. Perhaps when Command is sharing a bunk with a hungry Metroid infant, they will rethink this unwise order. Metroid, our medical report. Technician 12 relieved after showing symptoms of phaseon fever. We claimed the phaseon as, as his own and held us at gunpoint until security arrived. Jesus Christ. Phase on extraction raids are underway on dark ether. The toxicity of the atmosphere has taken a toll on our workforce, as have the hostile natives of that world. 
Science team is preparing survival gear to protect our work teams, and we have increased our security presence in extraction areas. Fortunately, High Command is spending more troops, sending more troops and supplies. Our troops and resources are spread dangerously thin, and this mission cannot fail. Hmm. Science teams detected the presence of Phazon in the Dasha system four cycles ago. High Command authorized the deployment of our team shortly thereafter. Our orders are to establish a base on planet Ether and evaluate local Phazon resources. Because this world lies on the periphery of Galactic Federation territory, we are following stealth protocols at the highest level. A cadre of elite commandos has been dispatched to provide security for our force as well. This operation is now underway. Right on. Intelligence reports on the indigenous population of Ether are in error. This planet is not at peace, nor are the inhabitants docile. Evidence of Class IV conflict is present here. Though hostilities are at a minimum level for now, our territory has suffered several raids by a strange type of shadowy creature. These raids have caused considerable damage, and we have requested more combat troops in response. Hmm... So you're kind of getting the picture now? You're kind of putting it together? The roof portal has been opened. The artifact weapon, dubbed the Dark Beam by Science Team, provides the energy needed to open the portal, although for a limited time. We've sent in expeditions through the portal, and they have returned with incredible news. The portal leads to a parallel version of Ether. This Dark Ether has suffered a global calamity, turning it into a toxic wasteland. It is the home world of the shadowy creatures who have been raiding our base for the last cycle. Most importantly, it is the prime location of Phazon in this sector. Extraction plans are being prepared. We will not be denied. According to Logbook, a spatial anomaly has been found within our base. We believe it to be a rift in space-time that leads to a parallel dimension of some type, but we have been unable to interact with it thus far. A strange artifact was found near the anomaly as well. It may be a weapon or generator of some kind. Perhaps it is the key to ex assessing, accessing the anomaly. High Command is eager for reports on the relic. A new weapon is being developed. Casualty Report. Mining Expedition 422 reports three dead, two injured, one missing in action. Captured Bioform transferred to science team for study. Recording to Wagbook. Planet is unstable due to transdimensional flux. Warfare has devastated a good portion of the world's population. Finally, extreme climate shifts have left most of Ether uninhabitable. Metroid Energy Report. Until we recover more Phazon, we rely on Metroids for power. Command has authorized mass breeding of Metroids for this purpose. Who are you, Engine? Security Report. The Marine vessel has been under attack by indigenous predators for several days. Casualties are high. The Marine force is near elimination. Is that everything? Did we scan everything in this godforsaken room? <laughs> I don't know why they thought they needed to cram so much to read in one little room. It's d insane. But there, it's done. Oh. Hello! One of the good things I will say about having the gameplay pre-recorded is the fact that I don't have to sit here all nervous that we're going to encounter one of those discs can't be read errors for whatever retarded reason because again we're playing a digital copy what have we here you again and it's gone metroid broad generator underway brood is that brood Exercise extreme caution when dealing with the birthing of storage newborns. Remember, infant Metroids are not pets. Indeed. 
Another disaster. The transport bringing our reinforcements and supplies has been shot down. It was engaged in orbit by a Federation vessel, which has landed near the alien temple. It's only a matter of time before the Marines attack. Survivors from our ship have made their way to our base. Here we shall make our stand. Another enemy. First the Shadowlings, then the Dark Hunter. And now the Galactic Federation Marine Corps. Perhaps fate will smile upon us before the world itself opens its maw and swallows us. I don't know why I thought it was going to put hold at the end of it, but there it is. All right, what are we scanning? Phase on collector report. Phase on supply at site one is diminishing. Site two and three are supply rated above 90%. Site four remains a problem due to high presence of hostile biofilms. Dark Hunter analysis. Scans of the Dark Hunter have revealed she grows stronger as she consumes phase on. Already a class plutonium AAA threat level, we shudder to think of her power level as she consumes our entire phase on supply. Uh, yeah. Planetary stability report. Planetary energy is at critical, creating violent climate changes and tectonic shifts. Unless these conditions can be reversed, global destruction is inevitable. Blast door control security bypass. Oh, we don't need to read that. It's just opening the damn door. I'm in reading mode now. I just want to sit here and read for an hour. Security alert. All systems, all units. Datanet has been hacked. The hunter has hacked our Datanet. All of our secrets are now hers. She cannot be allowed to escape. Terminate on sight! Security alert. All units to battle stations. The Dark Hunter has breached the Metroid production facility. Protect Phazon supply at all costs. Death to the Dark Hunter! Glory to the space pirates! <laughs> Alright. We got through this section, um... Uh, Dang it! Thank God! Thank God! That magical, mythical creature. Wait a minute. Have we scanned? We have not scanned these before. The Space Pirates copied captured Federation Growler turrets, but found the cannon unit inadequate. They replaced the Growler's weapon with a powerful galvanic accelerator cannon. The Humility turret packs a strong punch, but retains the Growler system's weaknesses. Fast targets can evade the crude targeting systems, and the armor can't stand as much punishment. Why well, Lati ja. All I heard was, it sucks. <laughs> There we are. And we missed. Well, can't all be ace shots now, can we? Just go ahead and deal with you. Alright, he's dead. You know, I'm just going to scan this sucker so we can move on up. Bio scan complete. Metroid subject has several blast wounds. For space pirate weaponry on low power setting. They wanted it to, uh I didn't get to read all that. Eric, you clicked it too fast. Alright. Dark energy door. Great. And we missed. Okay. Hey, there's another Metroid down there that we missed. Um, containment field is keeping Metroid subject in a constant state of agitation. It is unable to enter sleep cycles. Well, that's just crude and rude and bioscan complete. Evidence of symbiotic bond bonding present in subject system. He's barely alive, and he's being sucked out uh, by the Metroids, his energy. Metroid handling protocols. Metroids are not pets. They are not for target practice. Finally, unauthorized feeding of the Metroids is still strictly prohibited. 
Space pirates harvest and enslave metroids for their use in operations. The Talon metroid will latch onto any prey with its powerful pinchers and proceed to drain its life energy. This causes the creature to grow in size and mass. The creatures are vulnerable to the chilling effect of dark energy and can be detached by entering morph ball mode and deploying a bomb. What are you in for? <laughs> what are you in for? Subject is suffering from food poisoning. It has ingested several pet treats and space pirate rations. These do not agree with its digestive system. Metroid subject has been energy drained repeatedly over the last three cycles. Subject's cellular structure has become unstable as a result. You mofos. You mofos. Subject is heavily scarred. Wounds appear to be from repeated contact with its containment field. Most likely received while attempting to escape. Thomas Aran, the accursed hunter, has arrived. The sudden arrival of the hunter is strange enough, but her actions are stranger still. She does not seek our destruction, but our Phazon. With each raid, she steals more Phazon ore, only killing those who attempt to deny her. What she needs it for, we do not know, though science team suspects she requires it to power her new armor suit. Dark in color, it is equipped with strange new weapons. The troops now call her the Dark Hunter. It is a fitting title. Well, Ati da. They think that Dark Samus is Samus, essentially. <sighs> the Dark Hunter. I'm assuming at some point we'll be able to scan her ourselves and kind of give her our, our own title. That'd be neat. It'd be pretty neat. Boy, I'm all talked out. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. After this episode, I might take a few days before the next Prime episode. There's a lot to read in this sucker. Pirate arrow troopers are known for their cold precision and utter cruelty. Armed with both beam and missile systems, the arrow trooper can be difficult foe to engage. A difficult foe to engage, especially at range. Their jetpacks can be overloaded with heat something attacks. However, these units prefer death before dishonor. An injured arrow trooper will make a suicide strike before allowing himself to be captured. Noted. That's why having a podium between us is important. Uh, another timed thing? Why? Right, I guess we have to go activate it. Maintenance report, energy containment field generators have blah, 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 blah. All right. Here, it's activated. You see? We have bypassed the security system. Now we can use the the platforms here. All right. Mass printing of Metroids underway. Oh God, we will meet commands quota within a cycle. Storage remains an issue. Recommended expansion of existing facility before a critical metro Metroid level is reached. Yeah, I'd say. Why are you mass breeding them? That's so stupid. You idiots. You're going to wipe out the entire universe. I just I want you to know what you're doing. Just... Uh, Metroid Unit 318 was put down today after a failed domestication session. Yeah. Ooh. It managed to kill one of its handlers before it was put down. That's a shame. Alright, 
we will figure this out. Target practice today. The Metroid then assaulted. Should be regaining brain functions in a cycle. You piece of filth. You use the Metroid as target practice. Then when he latches on and wipes you out, you want to get all pissy about it. Well, you just... Mm. Three Metroids have been stolen. All on-duty units have been questioned. Whereabouts of the Metroids unknown? All security in Metroid areas raised until further notice. Bum, 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 Alrighty. So, re if we go to the left, that's the door to exit to the next area. If we go up to the right, there's an energy tank which we need to grab. <laughs> Vapor for brains. Discipline reports. Units blah blah and blah blah. I've been placed a lot of rashes at this cock figure. The first story racks for amusement purposes. Just train is to car all these things. She's not training ever. Please. No more scanning. No more reading. And Bandai Namco, I hear you're working on the new Metroid Prime 4. On the next to zero chance you ever see my playthrough of this. My complaint here is that, Jesus Christ, I'm talked out. And it's just a 30-minute episode. I usually do 20-minute episodes, but this one goes an extra 10. And I am just so sick of my own voice at this point. We've read so much already. It, they packed too much into one area here. So make sure you stretch it out in four. No. Put that back down. They're already perfect. Just... Wait. Wait a minute. Hold up. Scan, damn it. Ugh. Okay. Wait, did we get the energy tank in the last episode? Did I ignore the energy tank this go around? I'm so confused. What was that? All right. Yeah, I'm very confused. Maybe it's because I'm kind of worn out from all the talking I've been doing and all the freaking logbook reading I've been doing. But, um, there was an energy tank back there in that room. Did I really just skip it and kept going? I did, because this is the end of the episode. We're going to hit this. Yep. All right. I'm an idiot. I guess I'll solve that in the next episode. See you, folks.